Seeing nothing of endpoint as of right now, but two players around that corner, including the bomber Mighty Max, now being seen. Zori doesn't land a kill shot, and neither did the T side land attack. Oh, look at the monster! But Zori gets away with a couple of kills, and with all that fake attempt to try to show the bomb but have a play out to the B side, just gets cancelled. That one came out of nowhere. Now Ariel comes in to have that kind of performance, and everyone is just around this divided position. They've got to make sure they're not getting too hungry. Zori finally gets dealt with on the part of Thomas, so that's one good trade back, but him and Mezzi are so, so low here. The newest signings of this roster have been around for a number of months here, but still got a lot to prove of their own right. And Thomas, if he can make a clutch happen, it's not going to come to be. It's all left to Mezzi in the 1v3. Tagged with the nine points of health, 12 seconds to the clock. He's out of this round. He's got to go down and get the money bonus, because this will be a pistol for Harvu, and he will just charge straight forward. No info to where Disturbed is. Wraps that corner and finally does go down. And I was just but continuing to see nothing at all. No casualties. Barely even tag damage done under the last 40 seconds. Zoro's got to check this left hand side with the orb, but does not see it whatsoever. Mighty Max is just selling the fake. The bomb's going B. One player left towards that B site and disturbed as well with SMG to hold off against the two players out with rifles. Aerial faced in upon. Mighty Max gets his double up slowly, finds the trade, but now seeing nothing at all. And disturbed quickly does a 180 as he was on rotation from graffiti. Now seeing the T side contact out of the T ramp. Solo holding. Slowly gets the position, however. Gets his double up on low HP. Crucial's AWP also detected. Bomb plant will be attempted. Swung upon. Bomb gets dropped. Two for one of the trades. Surreal now stands alone. Six seconds. Time's up. Endpoint. About to concede this. They're just going to hide and stay alive and disturb. It's not one of the rotation positions with 30 seconds to go for the split in from long and mid. Zori gets the mods off down, missing his AWP shot. Surreal has been spotted by Ariel. Continuing to try to find an angle of the mighty match instead. He gets two kills back of his own accord, though, and it's two for one now. All left towards Zori. One on four for the retake. Bomb will go down, and surely he's suppressed out of this round. Stella, part of the reason yeah. why that initial round came down to the wire in previous, and part of the reason why the... Uh, Zori set with the orb looking down towards Divider, looking around to the mid face, ready for Mighty Max. Great shot, great kill. Surreal. Next up here, flashed out position, caught on the tag damage. Continue burst fire for Ariel, finds Crucial next up to the five versus three and makes it two. They get back towards Connector, caught back by Ariel. Each individual duel taken and won. Bomb dropped and Thomas the Lurker in a one versus five. Does catch Disturbed at least, but has so much more to do for, for Zori and for Endpoint. They keep losing players, they keep thinking to themselves, well, let's just keep swinging. We need advantages back and eventually they just lose so much in that. Cindy's time so well here for Harvey. The information not going to get given up. That flashbang could force the info in the kills anyway. Disturbed only finds one. 12 seconds. Got to go for the default plant and nothing else for Surreal. Will there be a wall bang attempted by Zori? He'll see the player crossing from Mighty Max. He'll bait in that shot and there will be no denial on the plant. So four versus four. Molotov's involved. Mighty Max known entity back here. Will truck baits in yet another shot from Zori. Still can't connect it, still can't see anything here towards the T-side line. Second player also takes his face up, Ariel goes down. Messi with that kill, swings on Zori, who misses a third shot. And now it's all falling apart now for the CT side. Only one to Really need to tighten up their game on T-side. Yeah, lost out on the initial advantage because of that. And look at this flash forward from Ariel and Zori. They'll get those two kills for it. Crucial turns around one trade, but they've dropped the bomb. Two for one, three for one on the trade counts for Harvu. Gets away with two. Slowly deals with the comp player moving up. Thomas and Crucial got to try and win a 2v4. Now 1v4 is Crucial. Really just got no breathing room at all. So many CTs to find. So many shots got to take. Looking away at the wrong moment. And that costs him. Disturbed. Amount. Yeah, the money's not great, but still, they don't mind rocking just the M4s or the rifles, getting away with that AWP money. Max, seeing oh. the booster player slowly, how quickly that adjustment comes in. He checked it as well, didn't think about it, looked away, then realized, oh, hang on, there's a player up there. That's the tightening up that Endpoint need to do. Thomas caught off next by Disturbed, who also forces forward. Crucial can find one response back on area, at least here towards this long position, but Zori now knows what's about to face him. I think a lot of info was gained there by area on a smoke down with a Molotov. We'll just keep endpoint suppressed. And they've got rotations. They've pretty much got two on eight. Can be a third player in really quickly. And for endpoint, they've just given up so much info, like you know, you mentioned. Just all three players out from long. They do actually get a spam kill. Zori's on a quick rotation away. Got gap seen there by X7. Sees at least a player crossing. The bomb's got to go down here. Messi finally gets that pick involved and plants towards bank. Nade up towards default. Will sail right past him. As Surreal deals with disturbed. It's all left to Zori on long. 1v3 clutch. Looking around to the back of the site, out towards the bank entrance. Mezzi gets caught, but two more players in bank themselves. Hit in, 46 HP, and Crucial has the angle on lock to get the kill. 
A nice nade from Harvu, at least doing some initial damage here in this round, but this is essentially an upgrade pistol eco. The AK of Thomas can deal with these two players on short pretty effectively. It will get a Mezzi caught off at the very least. So there is one kill found, another AK that can hold to the CT favor, but all three players out here in connector and Thomas has got to escape. He actually ends up going down. So that's two for two, but the A site's open. And uh, they can rotate up relatively quickly, but for Endpoint, if they make just a straight storm into the A site, they'll beat them to it. Smoke going down towards Dumpster, Util up towards A now. Well, top on APC as well. Up rounds from Zori. They're going to try and go for this, I think. I thought it would be a good idea to save those two AKs for the next gun round, but Harvu looking to try and find a steal. Mighty Max has seen one. Zori caught out to connect up. Into the bathrooms and towards that mid control crucial. Does catch slow. Either Mighty Max caught looking the wrong way at the wrong time. So 2v2 once again. Swing back on crucial. Gonna bait in the orb shot. Flash over Zori. Ariel wins the fight. Now the orb's all alone. Harbu on for the eco steal. And crucial pulls out his knife at the wrong moment. Gives Harbu the eighth to win the CT half. What is with it with Harvu and Ecos? They've won so many Ecos over the course of this event so far. We saw it yesterday. We well, a little bit of a lucky shot in. Nade comes close. Oh, it's some decent chip damage. They're going to go with this, though. Oh, two nades stack onto Mezzi. He's going to burn the X7 as the stone. We get the first kill on the B side. Defense doubling up once again. Molotov's involved for him. Looks for the triple on Mighty Max. He gets it. Continues to spray, but crucial. Gets two kills to return. Now got to go for a full blown ace. It's not going to happen. Harvu. And control taps forward of the pistols. Wraps in disturb. We're gonna drop down into the cubby corner. No idea that Thomas is there. He still gets away with the kill. Aerial tread back on towards crucial. Thomas stays alive for a little bit longer than he really should have done there. So it's a four versus three situation. Nades up, damage done. And bomb plant. Will be secured here by Harvu, but look at X7 here to the jungle control. And no one from the CT side reads it. Mezzi now got a clutch. The Cloud9 superstar. Can't seem to frag on anybody anywhere. Desperately hunting for a pick that finds nothing at all. X7 seen there towards Wood as Mezzi drops off, but now he's known. Dead of the CT line. Dealt with easy. And then Even that's pretty passive, just the bathroom's entrance. What's up, Zap Deagle? Tap in for Surreal. Gets the kill on Disturbed. Continuing to look around the corner even further. Now it's out towards Monster where the T's are set to the strike. X7 tagged up. UMP of Slowy. And I get onto the site itself. Knows that Thomas is somewhere here at Toxic, but there's no quite land these shots towards him. The Deagle and Mighty Max continues to draw attention as Thomas can strike, get one kill and two. Tap forward with the third man. Slowly will deal with another frag, but it will not last for long. Mighty Max lands some heads. He gets a tag off an aerial first and foremost. As he sets it up a couple of picks of his own right, lines him up, knocks him down, drops the bomb, swings back for the triple. And Zori, we all find one frag, but dealt with by Thomas to close out the round. Amazing. So if they're going to lose that B side play, they might not even bother for a retake. They say that and they still get players out towards heaven. The smokes are down and Mezzi does catch one player lurking into the mid control. So back to a four versus four. There are kits in for this retake. It probably has to be a save from here though. Without that util, yeah, you, you're not going to lose a massive amount with the economy, but no one's really in rotating positions. Run away from Great Flash in. Mighty Max taps forward. Ariel gets a kill back in Bolt. Thomas descends from heaven, but Stub gets a trade in against the man. Unable to get the second player as Surreal to it's all left to Slowy. Sees the headshot, gets the pick back one on one against Mezzi. Swing back from Slowy at the ready, but he's got no util. Neither does Mezzi. He's going to stick the defuse. Hope that he doesn't peek, and ultimately, smoke towards Dumpster. Crucial, he's trying to press forward here in the midst of this smoke at Divider. Turned away from those flashes. Still peeks forward, still gets dealt with. Disturbed. Another kill for him. Five on three, X7 still being particularly low. Mezzi, try hold up against the trade on the man. He will be able to do so. Second player rounds the corner, and Slowy also falls. But Zori there with a response. Mighty Max gets into a two versus two. And again, two picks for the man. Ariel left alone, facing in from long. And Mighty Max gets so overwhelmed, isn't he? Imagine so. Big in. Oh, missing his shot. Need to land that one secondary face on a flick. We'll catch it to a four versus four. But X7 can overwhelm him. And where's the backup? It's still not there. Mighty Max just coming into lower bank. M4 in hand. But the bomb plant that has to be conceded. End point with a very, very awkward economy game. Still going to go in for this retake. And they will fall apart for his economy. Fail safe. No nothing for end point. This is that short position. Trying to find a workable angle here for Harvey with the bombs yet to commit. It's not on the back of anybody. He's still got those two players out towards the uh, underpass and mid controls. Now towards long for the likes of Ariel, but it's slowly that falls out towards Monster. Great kill from Thomas to start. 
are just creating a little bit of space out for Monster going for a bit of a lurk play. Surreal just gets picked off though, but disturbed, and the advantage just gets lost so quickly. Bound fast, four versus four, and Disturbed continuing to play this fantastic series from him so far. X7 set with the utility pass divider. Crucial's gonna hear it. What's up in towards the position? And he baits out Crucial for it. Four on three scenario, 20 seconds for the hit. Harvu gonna overwhelm Mezzi. If Ariel gets this kill, it's gonna be round done, but it's just a kill found towards Mezzi's part. Now the CT's holding on towards the B play. They've got Thomas here alone. One player back at Graffiti, Mighty Max there. Thomas gets his kill involved. Eight seconds. Zori can't make his way out of Monster. The Molotov will burn him away even further. Tags up damage and the kills come back for Mighty Max to hold it. Keeping him away with the smokes back. Cruz trying to get out of dodge. Did bait in that first orb shot out towards mid control. Now having information of what's going on. Mezzi wins that first fight and that second. Continues facing aggressive here. 17 seconds left of the clock. Sorry, knows that he's probably somewhere close here at the bathrooms. But still, Mezzi gets to pick on him. Triple up to drop the bomb. Face round the corner. X7 gets one good trade. And Slobby responds, but now he's all alone. Or picked up and Surreal will deal with the last. Drop the bomb for the... Two AKs in their hands. Pressing up into... Net to control, Mezzi gets both the kills, because of course he does. Removes two rifles from play for Harvu. Picks up one of his own and holds back for Slowy next up. I have a feeling that overtime's calling. That's looking likely. Disturbed getting caught off, out for the short position from Mighty Max, and everything is just falling apart. Mezzi does eventually get traded, but Slowy falls instantly. Sorry, crucial. Looks back in the bathrooms. He's going to hear these footsteps, know exactly where Zori is. And still, the fight has not come through. Finds the lucky timing and gets M shot now. But still, three players over to the B play. This is the right call, because that bomb's on its way towards the B side. This is all a ruse. Uh, how do the CT start rotating, though? Do they get faked off again? They've been really good at holding their ground. And Surreal with a pick on Thomas. Back turn towards Short is a teammate behind him to cover off the connected entrance. Mighty Max does end up falling, but Thomas still holds the line for now. Still the CTs get overwhelmed. And Mezzi now left with a clutch to hold here. He's got Ariel up on the A site. He knows that he's there. Players out of the B side, but X7 has a great couple of kills on the entry. Zori is getting involved with the AWP and even hits that finale. A bit of an aggressive play out from the long presence. Mighty Max is here from the long position itself, but Boo's going to come up with the AWPA. Oh. Another great opening kill out for Zori again. Just uh, time after time, he finds somehow to, some sort of way to be able to find the opening. Just lands it every single time. At least Mezzi's there for a trade out of mid, but again, he's a solo holder of the A site. Back up is there from the uh, uh, back of the site itself, where Thomas comes up with his two kills. Line up on arrow on X7. And it seems like Endpoint might catch a lucky break here. Zori and Disturbed. Last couple of players involved for Harvu. Mezzi gonna get close towards one and win out his double. All left to Zori. Does find that one frag on Crucial at least, but 24 HP to get the rest of them. And Endpoint will equalize. Now towards the uh, outside angles on the uh, short control. And actually, this could be information gained by Crucial. We've seen that bomb. So he's gonna cross in towards it. And that's another good kill for Endpoint. Five versus three. Air with the response. Mighty Max dealt with, but still has Mezzi into the back corner. That's going to be over at Dumpster, but he's actually going to fake face up towards it, and Ariel still gets the kill. Crucial responds back to a three versus two. Disturbed as the bomb on his back here. Now got to hold it all together. And the NWP is so out of the sights. So this allows a decent chance of the bomb getting planted, but oh, they peek out towards a long position. Ariel looking for the trade back. It just doesn't happen. Endpoint get the lead. Very aggressive. And again, that flick shot up there towards the uh, mid control. M4 in for Ariel. Gets one frag. Mighty Max is there for the trade back, but does lose his teammates to a four versus four. So, start out for Harvu. Endpoint at least keeping this close. So far, Ooh. so little gain. That bomb's going to go ahead and regress back on the rotations. Tom is going to get called for a tag up. Slowy, very far forward on this. Harvu. Oh, might have inserted a very cheeky position to the CT side. And Thomas gets caught for it. Can he catch Crucial as well? He can. But first five is out the actual kill shot itself. Same thing on Demezzi in the back lines. As the Storm gets caught. Slowy finally gets that pick back. And Crucial can return to a two on position, though. Bomb can go down. Yeah, he would have been seen there. Mighty Max looking for the aggressive duel. And we've needs a flick. And X7 hits it. And he lands the wall bang on Crucial as well. Not a mass amount of damage being done. Now that there's one Orper out there, the short presence of the other position. And Crucial can't land a flick of his own right. Will finally face in towards X7. Get it to a one versus one. Orp the Orp. And Crucial lands the Harvu. At least they can bring this back. But even so, Harvu on the back foot regardless. M4 swing for error. Trying to take a front foot here on these two kills. Only gets the one trade. The NWP out from long could be able to strike. Misses the chance, Slowy. Oh, down instead. 
Cool off by Mighty Max. Kill found, Zori. Messing around the mid control. It's crucial, still peeks on him. Gets the perfect kill at the perfect moment. And now, the start of the next seven here for the 2v4 retake. They'll put the incendiary and nade up toward Thomas. But he gets that bomb plant taking minimal damage. Uh, what a recovery this has been for Endpoint. Couple more kills, they'll be able to take their map pick. The NWP has been seen and he's getting spammed up. I look for that pick on this third, but now being worn down by the AK sprays and the firing squad of Endpoint. The Orpa faced in, now gonna go falling, disturbed on two points of health. And as great as he was in this map, this might be a bridge too far. He'll try it, but ultimately it's all in vain. 19 to 16 at last for Endpoint. A couple of consolation smiles on their faces, but that was still... An Do the same here against the Brits Twig. We're well, seeing this early contact out from Longhouse, just being a, a fairly a bait play for Endpoint, just trying to allow those players to get up towards that short position. Aerial capitalizes and then instantly just rotates to look into short. You're facing here is Thomas. Lead that charge in with a short execution. Smokes down towards the CT is Spore and will drive one man away. Ariel still watching as two players dive down past the CT presence. Slowy gonna get caught off. Ariel does get traded back on that first kill. Back Slowy eventually dealt with by Mezzi. The bomb plant can be secured. But Mezzi, no idea the player out towards Pit. Sorry, doing tag damage eventually finds the kill on the man to a three on two man advantage for Harvu. That's a difficult boss plant here for the T side. They're gonna try and get quite aggressive up towards Short by the looks of it. Leaning up here with the USPs, Glock's tapping for Crucial. Trying to bait in Disturbed, they'll get him to get killed off. We'll do a little bit of damage, a goosh down. And damage done to both players now as X7 cleans up Mighty Max and it's all left to Crucial. 1v3, gets that first pick. Low HP on Zori as well, the next player to face, but doesn't quite get the picks against the man. Zori will deal with the player and the fuse will come through. Uh, Endpoint could buy it up here. You got away with three kills and a bomb plant in the pistol. Harvu just being able to get that defuse forward. And it really just came down to that. Time's over on the first map for Endpoint. Someone's got to pick up that bomb and commit it to the B side, which is where the hit's going to come through from Disturbed. Seeing there with a Famar still gets a kill in on the first man. Crucial tagged up heavy as Aerial does get overwhelmed. Disturbed still can double up, triple up. Can't quite quadra up on this one. Thomas gets his trades involved, but him and Crucial, 15 seconds to counter rotate back into the A site. And Zori's adjusted for that as well. M4 at the ready here towards the a side. I don't even think they're going to have time to get a bomb down here, especially as the bomb will fall, and Zori gets both of the picks. Nice and easy. To the endpoint camp, and Mighty Max and Mezzi tagged heavy. Molotov's involved. Disturb will spray through, get overwhelmed by Mezzi on his shot back of the AK. Mighty Max is going to continue the entries, but can't see Disturb past this smoke. Endpoint have burst definitively into the site, and Disturb gets tagged at seven points of health here. Eventually, Thomas and Surreal luck out towards elsewhere on the map. They get the kills alongside Crucial, who doubles up in mid-control. We'll on the buyback for the CT side, and endpoint Probably will be aware of this, but... Oh, it's Slowy that finds the first pick on Crucial, held out towards T-Spawn. Not sure what he was waiting for, but that's a great opening start, so Real can get the trade. See. Again, that trade is available when Zori is so, so low on HP here with the AWP. Try reposition up towards the window position. One player back over at the main doorways as Zori gets his kill involved. Flashes going over, smokes down. Sturb still waiting for his moment to strike, Zori gets tagged up. Messi checks it, I think, for his trouble, but does get it to a three on three. That's a very good hard check coming through from Ezzy, because Zori's just trying to bait, just trying to pull all the distraction away, hope that that position does not get checked, and now they've got to try and retake. Smoke in centre of the side here for X7, will try at least get a bit of cover towards the back line, but exposed towards Carr, and uh, nothing will be done to the players on the site themselves. Thomas gets dinged through the door twice, and now Mezzi's got to focus on the players back towards Tunnel. Sees the couple of players, peeks up against the orbit, drops him. Sees that second man, Ariel next seven. Still get those kills together, so he's all to surreal in the back corner of the site, and Ariel still gets his pick involved, and the defuse will be stuck here, and Harvu will find a fourth. A decent retake coming through from Harvu. It is going to be slightly low without that kit, but they'll be able to get the bomb defused. End point. Just in that sort of situation, it seemed like Mezzi at the back. That was a long uh, house play because the smoke went down as the smoke came out for Endpoint and uh, they didn't commit towards the hit after the smoke had bloomed from the CT side. But Zori still finds Mighty Max trying to lurk aggressive out here towards Elba. A bit out in the open as the three other T side players commit towards it. Thomas does find a pick, but Zori now pressured from all angles. Gets his second kill involved. Sees the gun barrel of the AK. USP get around that corner. Very risky and he doesn't pay off for him. So three on two as the bomb can go down. And they get very lucky there. They really don't have a lot of util to work with. Rotation's coming in from short quickly. 
That's forward. Crucial gets his own orb pick in. Can't quite land a second. So slowly have to clutch it once again. That whole round is just drier than the Sahara Desert. I mean, there's no flashes. There's no smokes. There's no Try and siphon off rotations from the mid control, but they're coming in from CT spawns again. Need that backup and the player over at short to try and converge in. Shot missed out for Crucial. Aerial can get Mighty Max instead. X7 chimes in on towards Surreal. So that mid backstab dealt with. Three kills coming in efficiently. Mezzi finally with a response alongside Thomas. Util on the site. Getting those kills in involved but it's all left towards Thomas as Mezzi ends up falling with the wall bang and the CTs are forced back here without the kit and without the time. Good try from Hart. They've got to, they've got to put the nade down. Especially with crucial and these shots consistently like you'd hope that a jump face and he wouldn't be able to get it every single time But this AWP has been fantastic with those kills. Mezzi fantastic with the openers as well again towards Longhouse He gets that first fragment on aerial Surreal might have given up some info to X7 And the player can get a trade involved. So mid control taken back by the CT forces endpoint set up to the A play and just get those cross smokes set up. Just commit with the long take. Keep the NWP out from the pit. Just try to get a little bit of an angle to the site itself. But no one's really peeking on A for Harvey. Finally, Zori does. An advantage gained here by the CT cam. A bit of a gap in that smoke. Count the Molotovs. First thing in the right positions. Mighty Matt's going to be careful at his face here. X7 trying to get behind the smoke over at the Goose angle. Mezzi caught in the midst of that smoke. Aggressed forward towards CT spawn. Mighty Max does get one good kill involved. But... To get a bomb to the site with the AWP of Crucial trying to support him. Plant will be secured on default 2v3. And this is very winnable for the T side, especially if they can slow it down again. You've got kids in play, but Harvu, they're desperate for a bit of a pick in. Damage being done. The slowy in particular, the face in towards the CT spawn. We'll see disturbed instead. He gets his kill. And now Max. Little to do has seen Zori first and foremost. We'll see Disturbed secondly, but Disturbed ends up with a triple to again hold the round together for Harvu. A fifth will be on the CT board, and Disturbed continuing just to hold the confident numbers like he did over on Overpass. I don't know how he does it. I, I really don't, man. He's been a surreal. In the charge, X7 with a smoke back to counteract it here. Smoke's in multiple to CT spawn. And a spray blind gets Surreal to drop Thomas on low HP. Can't find a trade back, but it's two for one. That favors the CT side. The late lurker, the AWP up from Crucial, might be required to get back into the site itself. Two players to find and disturbed and slowy. Slowy set with the M4, ready to receive them at the mid doors. Cindy back past the B doors. And gets caught by Messi. 3v3. Now one player left on the site itself. And Zori's there to bail him out. The swing comes forward. He tags up Crucial to 10 points of health. And now to nothing. And swings back on Messi to double up. About now on the CTs. A lot of presence held back here towards short behind these smokes. Finally, the AWP has been seen, or has it been? No, he's doing a look for his positions, and the T side have no idea how to counteract him. Slowly gets his own AWP involved on Crucial. 5 versus 3. And now Zori gets back in towards Ganon. The bomb plant, and the out can be secured. Uh, they're going to try and get it down. The CT's just giving a little bit of uh, respect up in this 4 versus 2. Boost up out towards the elevator position. Messi doesn't know about it just yet. Disturbed facing in. Kill on Thomas now. Again in the 1 versus 3 clutch. He's got 2 kills already to his name. Knows that Slowey's down there somewhere at the CT spawn. But I've also spotted the player also on short. Giving his head tucked away. But steps heard. Debating the CT's to get aggressive. Man seen. And they both swing together. Very nice and coordinated there for Harvu. They will close out the half 9-6 up on CT side. I'm just impressed, really, from Harvu in that first half of Dust 2. Into the A play. USP is tapping forward. Mezzi going to get caught and tagged down. Surreal trying to deal with even more of these players around the corner. But here they come straight in. Ariel with his pick. Slow with a double up. And player back towards pick control. Max getting gooshed down. Five on three as the plant will be secured. Retake on for endpoint. But they lose Crucial before it even gets planted. Uh, this round is over. So much presence up for the T side. They just swing out all together. What an excellent pistol take that is towards the A side. Thomas does get away with one. Can he find any more than that? Okay. A little bit of further damage. Still for Arvu to gain to get to 10 once again. Very similar again to how things went down over on the uh, uh, first map as well. So there's at least a bit of a pop. Rifle round of the second half. We've got Crucial and Mezzi onto the big greens. Sorry, looking for a couple of those pop shots through mid, but not to be like it was in the first half. The gate here, kill found, and there was Mighty Max doubling up here towards the outside of Longhouse. Good sequence to get a two-man advantage, but look at how far Aerial kicks face here over towards the mid to B play. It costs him, though, unsupported by U2 and teammates, and Harvu so scrappy and full send into this round. Five on two, three-man advantage for endpoint here.
Uh, it's a very important kill to come through for Surreal. Just try and slow down that whole rap presence in from mid to B. The T's are looking for a little bit of a mistake and disturbed. What well, a bit of a decent kill. Mentioned mistakes. That's one given up by Surreal, but it's not the only mistake they're going to need here. Another mistake involved could be the fact there's only really one player here towards that B site defense. It's Mezzi, who has been stellar so far for endpoint. Blind fire from Thomas looking into the window angle. Orb should hear these footsteps, see the player dropping down. Great shot, disturbed can trade it, get a bomb plant here, but he's going to have to ace clutch this in a 1v3. I just get money, try and do some further kills here or there, but 1v3 is going to be difficult. He doesn't isolate that first pick at least. Ah, oh, but not the second. Try to fake the reload, get crucial to peek him. Didn't happen though. Quick swing, headshot found, or recovered on both of the individuals for endpoint, and that would be a solid, solid start of their CT side. Bon Plant bonus did come through for Harvu though, so I think there should be a decent buy on the table. There's some money in reserve as well, so yeah, there should be a pretty decent buy on the table. Done round here for round at 22, endpoint. Worked in against this, bringing this whole lead back from the brink here. Back to a three-round deficit and close range from the likes of Crucial. will find Slowly. The smoke will clear and he'll see a second man, but doesn't register accuracy to the short arrow. Gets spotted to the edge. That smoke he does get dealt with, but it's two for one of the trades. So back to a 3v3 will go. And X7 leans up from the short control as no CT was covering off. They overwhelm towards long by a line back into the ace sites. A massive lack of information. The CT is just so slow to rotating, and there's so much emphasis out from long that they don't even have eyes on short, and that just allows an easy pick in from X7. Endpoint, they want to go for this. I think they might fly around it into the next. Harvu. Well, just that whole play from X7 just not happening. Flash over AK involved. It's surreal. That picks up a kill alongside Crucial. Dropping the ball, man. Crucial doubles up as well. Zori, smoke to try and grab the bomb back of his own right, but should be known now to the CT side and that jump face. Try to get towards elbow and stop them. Flashbang still blinds off the orb, but turns him away. T side player not diving down towards the CT spawn. The bomb will get to the back of the site here. The orper can line up a frag for it alongside Surreal's AK, and the orb still looks for the cross, looks away at the wrong moment. They get back behind the short boxes and plant it. And they've got the bomb down, but they need more. Crucial gets another shot in the round. Five on three. Oh, bang, shot connected for the big green. Hands on Zori as well, but only a tag up. AK trying to get involved here towards Long. The short player still coming forward as Zori gets a pick back to trade alongside Slowy to get to a three versus three endpoint. Still not able to support in time, but Thomas' AWP comes up good to maintain the man advantage and doubles up on Zori. X7 now in the center of the site. Got all the players to deal with. Awkward sprays back on towards Messi, but Thomas can clean it up. Got to get to that bomb, get the defuse, and endpoint will take 12. I cannot remember the last time I saw an AWP in Thomas's hands, but my goodness, maybe we need to see it a little bit more often. Smokes down for Mighty Max, going to try and look in against the T-side line. AWP ready is Mezzi. Turns away from the flashbang and catches Mighty Max completely blinded off. The MAC-10 as a result for the start, can get the kill in. And Mezzi's just not hitting shots in the back here. Finally, one good flick back, no info on the other players. So it'll be a two for one, an end point. Start to fall back here. Man advantage for Harvu with rifles picked up and kills through smokes. Now they've got a save. Oh, how do they get eco? Fought back here on this map to avoid this. Almost a requirement here for the Brits. I, I can Orp set up, ready for aerial. Till the Ian Vash over, shot, flick, missed out, crucial. Consistently inconsistent, it feels like Ariel gets the pick in, so we're going to get both these headshots against the first man. Struggles to get the second, but comes up with the kill. Might have still saved this site here for the CTs, but he's pressured with HP and backup is nowhere near him and nowhere behind him. Got to get in from CT as the bomb does get planted. X7 was caught with damage done towards the mid control, so they get the four versus two. And that was super long range, but it was just the whole ideal that X7 just gets caught completely off guard by that rap play. Four and two advantage now, make it even further. Surreal and Mezzi working together. What a great round again for Surreal to really come through because for Endpoint, they only had one defender on eight. That was the Orpa. Missed shot, overwhelmed completely. Surreal was trying to come up from CT spawn. Yeah, they needed a big play and four treat for them. Surreal delivered it. Especially after the initial missed shots from Crucial, that could have cost them. He hasn't had many opportunities to get involved because there hasn't really been many B plays. That rotation's pretty early here because again, they're going towards the A site. Crucial's AWP set and ready. Thomas traded back by Aerial as he finds the on the first pick. 
Aero wrapping in, sees two more. Spray the second. Can't get the triple. Crucial sees another player, but finally he's traded back. So those two players on the B site up for the retake definitively this time. Three on two. And slopes and flashes to their position. They're going to push ahead of it, though. And Slowy baits them in. Gets his kill. Mezzi in the 1v3. He's been amazing for endpoint in this map up. And now he might have to go for the clutch play. Surely they can't let it get to map point. Yeah, he kind of has to go for this here. They just don't have a massive amount of loss bonus to play with. Just believe in yourself that you can win the clutch. No, uh, he doesn't. Out from long, the way in which they flash, the kind of peak with it, and between aerial, some sort of way into the round. And for Thomas, it's the aggression off the back of the smoke. SMG just fires away. Mighty Max comes in from lower tunnels, though. He'd missed out on the uh, tunnel's aggression. On top of that frag back, Thomas is going to face in against Ariel at point blank. He turns up to get the frag, and that might have turned the tide in favor of endpoint. But Hardu are attacking into the site itself. Scout close, AK at far. Thomas comes up with a pick and doubles up for the triple overall. And it looks like endpoint might hold on to this for another good round. Zoe with two picks, but no further than that. Might receive it as Harvu go into the A site once again. M4 in the back, secondary smoke down, flash involved, blinds off nobody here. The Orb of Crucial watching in the back and does catch a kill. M4 swing back for Surreal, gets a double up. Flashes go over as Surreal gets overwhelmed and a rotation start here with a CT line. Overextension, still gets 6 7 a kill, but Thomas trades it. Three on two, bombs on site and will get planted. It's retake time for endpoints. Now, Ariel's got to try and be able to back up his teammate, and for Zori, he needs a pick. Orp, trying to look in, trying to bait out Thomas to make a mistake, but he can't see the man. Looks back down range in towards long. I think ahead just got spotted for Ariel, but Zori takes his chance to swing, trades it as Ariel goes down. Two kills up to take a 3k overall. Damage done towards Messi. So low, and they peeks in at both of the individuals. Endpoint will hold the defuse, hold us to 15 as we go to overtime in our second map of the series. Uh, we come here again, and for Endpoint, you do have to give them a big, big. And a wait. Mezzi set towards car. T side players walking out mid to B. Disturbed gets the kill on Max. Mezzi gonna wait for them. Molotov's in. Aerial scene. One kill found. Damage being done as the sub comes in with the flank. Surreal can counter flank him. Three versus three. And the plant will be secured in this one. Retake on for endpoint here. Zori not being seen. Molotov set by Surreal. His teammates coming in from the mid doors. X7 is, might even just get forced out to the open. It all just comes down to this rap play for the T side. Doesn't get there in time. AK spray for X7 still comes up with a kill. Slowly dealt with by Surreal. Two versus two. Thomas trying to bait in. Sorry, shot missed out. Damage being done by the AK still. They're such low HP with the kills. For endpoint, they've got two players on B, so they're not going to get overwhelmed like they did. Bit of a short fake. This is going to be a play to B. What? Surreal couldn't get that kill? Way too high on the crosshair placement. The spray goes so above Ariel, and not even Messi can hold down on the B site. 5v3, they played towards A, backstab involved, and it was top mid, and the upper crucial got to go massive. He gets that first pick, but no more than that. Zori and Slowy clean up, and Max in a 1v4. Uh, they just don't capitalize there at all. Ariel is so damn low. The trade just does not come in. Got to expect him to get flashed off angle. Crucial can be a slight rotator to come through to try and back him up. They're just going to go dry about it. Great kill on Slowy. Four on four. Crucial's got to come in to support now. Outside of long, they're going to flash their way forward, completely blind off and siphon Surreal back into a back corner, but he gets his secondary pick in. Tertiary one, not found against X7, close range at the smoke, alongside the Orpa. They're going to walk right past each other, Zori gets caught, and now X7 out in the open, gets the two kills back towards long control, but needs to grab the Orp and get the bomb to the site, up for the 4k clutch, and Nezzy... Wins the Orb duel. Mighty Max being seen, but a spray goes so far awry. Gets a dink off on Thomas. Can't quite get a kill to capitalize on it. Finally deals with Mighty Max. And Surreal comes back with a trade. Pistols involved. Four versus three. There's such low HP here for the T side line. But all the headshots. Smoke down for the cross again. Crucial just knows how to hit those. And Thomas just about knows how to recover against X7. Can't double up on Ariel though.
that he got that tag shot in, disturbed, gonna take the NWP being the low HP player, and especially if he plays to the back plat position, gives himself a chance, but he misses the And now there's an M4 downstairs for Slowy. Is it known? Well, the nade towards Zori will tag him even further. Counter nades involved here for Slowy should do some damage to Eternal to Mighty Max in particular, but Zori ends up falling. Now it's the M4s on attack from CT and Lon. They've seen Surreal, still can't land that headshot arrow, comes up good, but crucial with a response. So it's all to Slowy. 1v3, no util, no info, closed in upon from the long control. Back to turn up in, Messi gets the kill shot. And end point. Orps and sort of sniper set in for the end point side. And do damage once again towards the mid control. It's surreal that finds that opening pick. Aerial got two to find a return. He only gets Mighty Max surreal. Back to a three on three. Hold up. Good shot on Crucial. Finds the head. Slowly to fall. Zori and Disturb. Last two players that remain. Zori in particular on the site. Smoke down towards Big Box. Surreal. Gap in that smoke that can be detected by Disturb, but he can't land his fragment. It's all on Zori to clutch the whole thing, and he just can't do it. Harvu did everything they could to hold Dust 2 together, but in the end, Endpoint with an overtime benefit.